and welcome to Clean and Purdy with Lurleen Gertie. I'm your host, Lurleen, and today we're going to teach you how to keep things clean and purdy with your electric toothbrush. Now there is lots and lots and lots of stuff that you can use your electric toothbrush to clean in the kitchen. Okay? Now notice my lovely cabinets that my husband Merle made for me. Now they even have this pretty copper inlay which I done punch myself with a nail to make this pretty hard. Now every now and then it just gets a little tarnished or something so you gotta come along and you gotta clean it. Listen to that power. That is going to just do the trick. Almost everything I clean can be cleaned with baking soda. Baking soda is a good harsh abrasive for all these stuck on stains. Watch the scrubbing action as it takes off all this nasty green stuff that got done stuck on the copper. The pretty copper inlay. Now just look how clean that is coming. Oh my goodness. Merle is going to be so excited when he gets home and sees what a lovely job I have done on this kitchen. Oh look. It is just coming so clean. Now you may notice that your toothbrush, your electric toothbrush, the head of it is getting all green and stuff and that just means that it's doing its job. It is getting it all nice and clean, spick and span. Now you can also use your electric toothbrush to clean your tile and your grout work, even in the kitchen. Look at this. are starting to look like grapes again. Don't forget to clean your lemons and your pears. Sparkling clean and beautiful. Sparkling clean and beautiful. It is just pervy. And remember, just a little bit of water goes a long way towards cleaning your electric toothbrush so you can move on to the next task. Now, ladies, don't forget that we have to be subservient to our husbands. So sometimes that might require that we give them a little help with their hygiene. Now, this part could take a minute. Guys... Look, I think it's working. I bet you hadn't even thought of some of these. Merle shotguns. A little Oriental woman. All your antiques and collectibles. Your fish tank. Your husband's dirty old under things. Your dusty old ceiling fan. And don't forget the breaker box. You can even clean your pussy. You can even do some cleaning in the bathroom. And with just a quick rinse, You can even take care of your own personal hygiene needs. And 
And that concludes this episode of Clean and Purdy with Lurleen Gertie. And don't forget to tune in next time because can't nothing never be too clean and purdy. <laughs>